All right, a heads up. This next story could really be tough to watch. It includes a hit and run at a Beaverton gas station, all recorded on surveillance video. And we want to let you know up front, the man who says he was deliberately struck. Well, yes, he is shaken up, but doing OK. And he wants you to take a close look here in the hope someone will spot the driver who did this. Catherine Cook has his story. Miraculously, the victim only suffered a broken finger and bruises. They say before the assault, the suspect had been on property loitering and asking people for money. I mean, I got a couple bumps and bruises in my finger. I messed up, but now that you see Ryan Darby is mostly OK. Here's what happened to him Sunday night. That's Ryan in the red. He works at the Shell station on Southwest Olson Road in Beaverton. The driver of this early 90s Cadillac hits Ryan head on and drives off. And it's not as bad as it could have been because if I wouldn't have jumped, it would have been way worse. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Here's a picture of the driver. Police say he's in his 40s or 50s, around 5 foot 10 with a thin build. Ryan says he asked the man to leave since he appeared to be high and was bothering customers. That's all I did because he's asking customers for money. Go tweak somewhere else. And he didn't like that. No one should have this happen to them. Beaverton police officer Matt Henderson says if caught, the driver could be charged with felony assault. My hope is that our community can identify this suspect and that we can bring some justice to the, to the victim in this case. Here's a closer look at the suspect's car. Again, it's a white early 90s four door Cadillac. There's duct tape on the back passenger side window and chipped paint on the back right side. This is one of those cars that's going to stand out to people. Ryan hopes so for the community's sake. He's going to do it to someone else for sure. In Beaverton, Catherine Cook, KGW News.